Last week, the Buffalo Common Council canceled a vote on their redistricting map after a lot of strong opposition from some in the community. The council's plan was first unveiled in May, made by a commission behind closed doors, and it keeps much of the same boundaries now in place. And that is the problem. Some in the community say the map created 11 years ago was gerrymandered, benefiting the people running and not the people living in those districts. Today we talked with investigative post Jeff Kelly, who's been keeping an eye on this topic and who says since the canceled vote, the council has stayed silent. They have not rescheduled the vote as of yet. Activists, on the other hand, those who opposed the plan that, they, that the council had hoped to adopt, uh, have been very active. They actually took feedback that they collected at the public hearing last week and feedback for, even from some council members. And they used that feedback to amend their plan to draw a new one, which they released Tuesday and which they filed with the city clerk on Tuesday as well. And it's remarkable because, you know, they're, they're, this group of activists, this coalition is sort of behaving like an independent redistricting commission. They're doing what the council was meant to do, which is sort of air an idea publicly, gather feedback and, and, uh, and incorporate that feedback into your product. In this case, a redistricting plan. As we mentioned before, not much changed in the council's map. So what does the map drawn by the community actually look like? The new plan that they've, filed, they've just filed with the city clerk is, is quite a bit different uh, than what exists today. They argue that's a good thing. Much of Ellicott and Fillmore are kind of combined into one district. Allentown and the Elmwood Village are made into one district. First time in quite some in decades uh, that that uh, the Elmwood Village has been its own district rather than divided among several. And the Niagara district uh, now stretches all the way along the waterfront, all the way down pretty much to the outer harbor. It's a long waterfront district. Uh, so it, it looks quite a bit different than, uh, than the map that exists now. So now there are two maps. The first made by the council and the second made by a community group. So now what? It's sort of up to the council. The charter demands that the council adopt a new districting plan by the end of this month. Now, in order to do that, though, they have to unveil the plan they intend to vote on one week ahead of time. They have to file uh, an, an act, a, a piece of legislation that must age for a week. So they have to do that sometime relatively soon. And you can check out Jeff's full story on investigativepost.org. We'll also be following this story for any updates if and when they come.